allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. Sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. It's about time you guys got here. You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Anyway. I'll be waiting here. I just need to rest my eyes a little.
immediately after Mission Control Sandman, I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day, when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding to objective. Over. Someone must have had a lot of fun down here.
these things. something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols and could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over.
flight to mission control. Elvis has left the building. Understood. We'll take it from here, Agent. If the weather gets any worse, we might experience calm interference. Proceed to your next objective. Emergency channel open. Over.
Always nice to have a spare magazine with hollow points. I guess a wiser thing to do would be save those hollow points for boss fight or something like that. to do with the chamber's cooling system.
ATF to mission control. PLX 731 sample secured. En route to second helipad for extraction. Do you copy? Good job, Agent. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. The objective of this operation has been updated. Agent Krychek and Wes have disappeared, and until they've been found, we can't allow you to leave the building. Your new objective is to complete the mission of the Epsilon team and download all the research data on your DID. Please confirm status update. Over. New objective confirmed. On my way. Over. Sure. I'm just a war dog, after all. Cover those samples somehow. Sandman, do you copy? I found West's body. Looks like he was shot to death. No sign of Crycheck yet. Can you hear me? 
Can you hear me? Oh, God damn this cocksucking storm!
The private office of the founder. From here I should be able to restore system passwords.
Liev to mission control. If you can hear me, I've just restored the facility passcodes from the Matrix. I'm in the process of gathering the 731 samples and data off the server. Over. This is Liev. About time. What the hell happened? I've retrieved the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Understood. We're having trouble with the comm system. To make matters worse, this storm isn't getting any less wild, and the loads are being pushed to the limit. I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Your new rendezvous point is the main entrance, so head there. Hurry up and grab the data so we can get the hell out of here. Watch your back. Open comms for 2236. Over. Hey, you! Drop your gun and let me see your hands! Right now! Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead, melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I'm, I'm no threat to you. My name's John. It's John Fay. I work for Aegis in the Information Science Department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours, since all hell broke loose. All communications are down, and I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveyors, cameras, and naturally, the personnel files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct 
exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that one of our own stole some research and covered the whole up as an accident. Obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. Well, why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building? You're not gonna let us die here. Nah, no, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. Evacuation sequence activated. Back to base. My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. And with just a few bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no good Exocore players. You, it was the most incredible fight I ever saw. He just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the map. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. HQ here. We read your signal on beacon. You're less than 30 minutes from base. Acknowledge. This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. The special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. Maybe we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there, all ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform or spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Uh, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men. 
with bona fide families. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You've both got a lot common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you just say to me? You better watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon. Our orders stand. Right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, Dylan. Because I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. And I think you would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? Say so, Major. It's just every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him. And I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you go back to flying solo any day now. Major, you looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Tribe. Only place I want to see you falling is on the mat after our bouts. Okay, now focus and keep this bird up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down. This is Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Keenside Police, Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chopper nearly took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. Right. Sorry, Sam. Those big shots called in last night to schedule transport passing through the area. Night exercise or something. In and out. Real hush-hush. You should be safe to go back up there. Just... I read you, Ken. Although next time, uh, you know, I'd be mighty grateful for any notice. Over and out. <sighs> hey, baby, it's me. Generator. Oh, yeah. I remember to turn off the lights in the house. Otherwise, you'll have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rascally raccoons? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, 
I was just on the radio with Ken, so I thought I'd check in on you. And I feel bad about not being able to take you to the Cherry Blossom Feast. I know how much it means to you. It's just, well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? No, 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 nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And, h hold on a second. Shit, I, I can't find my meds. What do you mean you can't find your meds? Uh, I must have dropped when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those for... Don't, don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with, with this for a long time now. Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them? <sighs> How could I forget? With you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. It's just a few more hours. Go to bed and get some rest. I'll be home in the morning. I love you. <sighs> I, I can manage it. I can manage it. Just like last time. Uh, Major, uh, what's going on here? Uh, David, help me, please. Uh, Don't move, leave. Put the uh, weapon down. No fucking way. Talk to me, sir. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, Alex, he broke a vial in my face. Uh, Enough chatter. Uh, Step away from him uh, right now. Uh, God damn you, Lee! Well, well. <laughs> Who would have thought? Tonight's the night that you finally fail a mission. Lo and behold, the great Sandman <laughs> isn't as great after all, is he? <laughs> and who would have thought? Tonight's also the night when you die. You know, for what it's worth, I can honestly say, I had the real displeasure of serving under you, Major. Oh, and don't worry, I'll take care of these. Farewell. What son of a bitch! Oh, oh shit, didn't see that coming. Ugh. This has already invaded the entire town. The mask will not hold up for long. I have to find a place to take refuge. Seems to be the ideal place to take cover.
This was not part of the plan! Feels like it's gonna explode. Uh, uh, why didn't the guy in rotation wake me? Uh, uh. Oh yeah, today it's up to Cooper. It doesn't surprise me that he's late again. Hey, 
Sam Walker here. I'm at the tower at the Hunter's Pass. Anybody out there? Over. Thing is, my replacement hasn't arrived yet. Anyone know what happened to Cooper? USFS Control. Anyone read me? Anybody? God damn it! Uh. Hey, baby, it's me again. Sam, finally! I've been trying to reach you! What happened? <sighs> Sorry, uh, I must have passed out. Hell of a nightmare, too. Baby, I, I don't think I'm doing too well without my pills. It's only been a few hours, and I'm already starting to feel... Sam, just come home right away. What? Is something wrong? You might say that. We need to talk. Come home. Please. Talk about what? Sweetie? Damn! Damn. It's already been several hours since I took my pills. I hope I can handle it. What's going to happen this time? It'll be better for me to go. Ah, oh, Cooper, damn you. I'm not going to cover you this time. Hallucinations are already coming. There's no trace of Cooper's car. But where the hell is he? Now, what did I do with my car keys? Shit. I must have left them at the tower. took five minutes and one incompetent play to twist my perfect game into an imperfect mess. Even so, Kay would have been proud of the fate we thrust upon keen sight. But I still had work to do and players to silence. Now was my turn to make a move.
Why the hell are the lights off? Aw, oh, come on. You didn't leave the generator on all night again? Sweetie? Sweetie? Receive me. Over. Delta 4RG0 pilots have betrayed the company. Attempt to steal samples recovered from Aegis during the flight. Following this conduct, I had to kill Major Sandman. While the second pilot Raven is to be considered missing. Agent Crane has been mortally wounded. Double crosser. You were lucky. I have the research data in the last remaining Pollock sample with me. Immediate extraction requested. Request accepted. Status mission updated. The order is to reach the rendezvous point at Sacred Heart Hospital. Scheduled extraction for 10.30 p.m. Zulu. Maximum priority for the delivery of research data. Secondary priority for the recovery of... Damn. You cut me out. It does not matter. I know where you're going, Agent. It's all my fault. I 
I'm so fucking stupid. I should, I should have just left you back in the city with... I'm so sorry, baby. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Stay right here. I'll come back for you, I promise. I just gotta find the fucker who did this to you. I'll find him myself. The Sacred Heart Hospital. He's going there. And then he'll be there. The bastard. He took my Jeep. Wait a minute. By passing with the funicular, I can still get to the city before him. Everybody acting like that. Have they all lost their damn minds? I need to get back to the city to. Uh, uh. Oh no. Brad. What the hell is going on here?
Yeah, this piece of junk works. I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. You'll regret it when I find your sorry ass. And what happened next would jeopardize my plan. HQ, HQ, this is Liev. I've reached the extraction point. Standing by for evac. Over. We're reading you, Liev. An Alpha team has been dispatched to your location. Hold position and get rid of any hostiles. There's no hostiles in the area. Over and out. Not so fast, Agent. You really think you can walk away from this? Huh. Sandman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How is this possible? Your guess is as good as mine. But aren't you the least bit curious of how your little stunt affected me? Oh, come on, Leaf. You still got one more round to show me something before you throw in the towel. <laughs> nah, I'm throwing it in. See, I've got a flight to catch. And to be honest, I don't give a fuck about boxing. <laughs> you throw your hands pretty fast, Major. I'll give you that. But tell me this. Can you throw your hands faster than a bullet? Hmm? No, no, no. How the mighty have fallen. Without the safety of your helo, your knee deep in shit and your neck high in deeper shit on a crash course to soiling those pretty hands of yours. Tell me this, does it ever cross your mind what you did to me at Groom Lake? No? Well, this time, you're stuck on my battlefield, bitch. And you'll be the one bleeding out, not me. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. Cause when it's all said and done, you'll be remembered as a traitor. Who is this squawk too much? You know, life is really just like boxing. You psych your opponent into thinking you'll do one thing, then you do another. You got only yourself to blame for this, Lee. After all, you're the one that made me this way. Oh, come on, Lee. Stop shaking. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Knockout. You know, I could have let you die back in 94. Yeah, letting you die would have saved us both a headache. The state of the board had gotten worse, and Sam Walker was officially the next mouth to stitch shut. Especially now that I had lost control of my pawn and the ability to recover our precious samples.
said that? Stay where you are. Don't move. What the? Look for the intercom. On your left. My name's Atherton. Dr. Atherton. I'm the chief surgeon here at Sacred Heart. My men and I have shot ourselves in the ICU. Quite possibly the last safe refuge in this hospital. Maybe the whole town. What? How can that be? What the fuck is going on here? Listen, Doc. I'm looking for someone. A real nasty son of a bitch who got here shortly before I did. Oh, la la. You must be alluding to my latest patient. Latest patient? That's right. A real nasty son of a bitch, indeed. He was the one who crudely dissected those security guards you've undoubtedly stumbled across. But alas, I managed to sedate him and now he's tucked away, as snug as a bug in a rug, under my complete control. Nobody will meddle in this hospital's affairs. Nobody but me. Um, Doc, open this goddamn door right now! That bastard's got an outstanding account with me, and I came to collect- No, 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 I'm afraid not. You simply don't have the authority to make that decision. As you can see from what's left of my staff, I too have an account to settle with this man. Now you listen to me. I ain't gonna tell you again. Open the goddamn door! However, settling accounts seems to be your niche. So maybe we can reach some kind of understanding. What are you getting at? How should I explain it? Hmm. Yes. As a result of this precarious and unpredictable situation, some matters of the utmost importance remain pending. As you can glean from the carnage out there, I can no longer rely on security due to your friend's sudden appearance. So I need you to handle it instead. Man, you are one insane motherfucker. Insane or not, I have something you want. What you must do, sir, is go to the west wing of the hospital. Room 10, to be exact. Hmm. What should I do once I get there? Don't be so rash, Mr... Walker. Walker? Oh, how appropriate to the situation at hand. Getting there alive will be a big accomplishment in itself, Mr. Walker. Now you'd better skedaddle. I am not a particularly patient man, and my offer may be prone to expire. You can contact me using the intercom when you... Uh, better yet. If you make it there. By the way, that technological marble that beautifully decorates your delicate wrist, the one you clearly stole, will be very useful. Very useful indeed. Feel free to buzz me on channel 27. I'll give you more details then. Godspeed. All right. I'll do it. Fucking fruitcake.
Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything.
Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. Decided to make a unilateral. 
unilateral decision. What you must do is cut his right wrist and retrieve a small microchip implanted beneath the epidermis. A clean and simple procedure, wouldn't you agree? Now what the fuck else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. What the hell is going on in this place? Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible?
I wasn't quite sure you'd make it. Yeah. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let me in. No. No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Indeed, you've proven yourself somewhat trustworthy. But more so, reliable. I simply can't waste such a talent. I have another task for you. What the fuck, man? Listen, I ain't parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you. I see. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? Now that doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand. First you do something for me, then I do something for you. Doc? I hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there. Cause if he ain't, and you're riding me like a donkey, I'm gonna tear you a new one. As tempting as that sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. Heh. <laughs> so what in the fuck should I do this time? I want you to take this key. You can use it to access the lower levels of the building. There you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked. By now you should have a clear idea how it works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker.
Doc, I'm here. It looks like an ar archive of some sort. Precisely, Mr. Walker. Keep the chatter to a minimum, though. This time you won't have to shred corpses. Just park your tush in that chair by the PC and initiate the archive self-destruction sequence. The process should be rather simplistic. That is all.
Hey, Doc. I'm out here. Now let me in. Oh my, Mr. Walker, welcome back. You have indeed proven yourself reliable. I must admit, I couldn't have done it better myself. Listen, man. I almost died covering up the shit you people have got hidden in here. The shit you're a part of, Doc. I thought your job was to save lives, not destroy them. Do not presume to lecture me, Mr. Walker. I will not be scolded by the likes of you at a time like this. It boils down to business, money, and power. All of which the company has more of than you can begin to fathom. But I'm still useful to them. They'll come for me eventually. They'll come for me because I too am reliable. And that is exactly why you and I have one last task to complete. Ah, oh, fuck you, man! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, huh, I can't get fooled again. I'm done! Just shut it and listen. An acquaintance of mine, Dr. Kimball, went missing and out of radio contact while carrying out an important job. He did, however, re-establish the signal just a few minutes ago. From what little I gathered, we've only got a few minutes to save his life. And who better than reliable you to rush to his aid, hmm? Complete this one final task for me, and I will gladly throw open this door and invite you to inside. Let me reassure you, Mr. Walker, that I am a man of my oh, word. fucking hell. All right! But that's it! If you don't open the door next time, I'm gonna find a way in there, and you ain't gonna like it. That won't be necessary, Mr. Walker. Dr. Kimball seems to have locked himself in the east wing of the facility. But I'm not sure how long he'll be safe there. So please, rescue him as quickly as possible. Good luck. <laughs>